Hey guys, so welcome to Protocol Orders Point. So this tutorial is on credit card number input formatting. So basically when a user enter a credit card number in a given text field, the text field uh, number should be formatted in a credit card format. For example, after every four digits, there should be a space given so that a user can easily understand he has entered the right uh, credit card number or no or if he has en entered any wrong credit card number he can easily identify the number and he can edit it so for example here i have created a demo app just as an intro of this tutorial so you can see i have a text field over here and a user can enter a credit card number in this text field and you can see over here uh, i have a space between after every four digits so in this tutorial we are going to learn how to give a space after every four digits okay so now we are in our android studio ide and here i have created a new flutter project and named it as credit card input format and i have also added a text field in my code where i have completed the ui design so you can just get the ui design on my website that is protocoderspoint.com so the link will be in the description you can just check it out okay and the app is running on my device so you can see in my mobile screen which has been connected through usb okay so now when a user enters his credit card number the credit card entered number should be spitted in four digits okay so now basically the user can enter a text field his credit card number and i need to give a functionality to this text field so that after every four digits there is a space okay so let's do it now and there is one more requirement that is uh, the user should not be able to enter a certain uh, maximum number uh, for example the user should not be able to enter the credit card number greater than 16 okay so let's do it also okay uh, so if we go to this text field widget property so there is a property called as input formatter so we are going to use this in our uh, widget okay so let's use that so here input formatting so first of all we are going to restrict the user so that he can enter only 16 digit number okay so length length limit text input format and here you need to specify the exact number that a user should able to enter for example in our case it is 19 because uh, our uh, credit card number will be of size 16 and as we are going to give spaces in between so 16 will 16 digits will have uh, three spaces in between so we are going to allow the user to actually enter uh, 19 characters in this text field okay so this is the first thing and one more thing is the user should not be able to enter dot so for that we are going to use uh, filtering okay and here dot digital digits only okay so now if i hot refresh so let's wait so you can see i will not be able to enter this dot okay and the user will not be able to enter number greater than 19 okay so we have we are done with the input formatting so we need to give space after every four digit so for this we are going to create one more class at the bottom of this file so let's give the class name as uh, credit card input format extends text input formatter okay so here we need to override some method so just click on this warning and just override it okay okay so now here let's code so if new value dot selected selection dot buffer of here we need to check if the buffer offset is zero and if it is zero then we are going to just enter new value so what is this new value so the new value is actually the user entered data in this text field so whenever the user makes some changes in this text field so this 
will be called and here we are going to validate it okay okay so now we need to get the actual string that is been in this new value okay so string enter data is equal to new value dot text okay so now we get the data that the user has entered so in our case we i have entered this number so the entered number will be this number okay so it will be in a string format for now okay and then we need a string buffer so we are going to add each character of this in this string buffer okay so now we need to read each and every character that the user has entered in this text field okay so for this we are going to make use of for statement okay so let me explain you what is happening in this for statement okay so first of all when a user enter any character in this text field so this class will be called automatically when we going to pass this so we are going to pass this class in this input formatter okay so let me do that okay so whenever there is a changes in this text field so this class will be called and here there is a validation been done so here this is the actual data that the user has entered so in our case this is the number okay so there is a buffer where we are going to store each and every character by making use of for statement okay so we are going to store every index in this buffer okay so for example index is 0 that means 5 will be stored index is 1 then 2 will be stored 3 6 something like that will get stored in this buffer and this is used to give space for example if index is 4 so so if index mod 4 the remainder is 0 then we are going to give one space and add it into our buffer okay so after so this what this code will do is after every four digit it will give one space okay okay so now finally we need to return the actual string back to our text field okay so text editing value and here we need to pass the buffer buffer dot to string and then here selection text selection dot collapsed offset buffer dot to string dot length okay okay so now if I hot refresh so let me enter a number over here so I will just keep on entering a number so you can see there is a space being given after every digit okay but in our case I don't know why it is accepting more than 19 characters so let me check it okay so i think it is not counting the space so let me give 16 and check it over here okay so i'll just enter 16 digits yeah so now it is working perfectly fine so you can see there is a credit card input formatting been done in our flutter application to our text field okay so that's all for this video tutorial Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe protocol as point. Thank you.